Okay, so I'm going to walk you through how to make a very simple bullet. Uh, something along the lines of this right here. So let's go ahead and delete that and I'll walk you through how to make it from the ground up. So let's select this cube. Our bullet's going to have a spherical head, so let's go ahead and delete the cube. We want to add a UV sphere, so Shift A, Mesh, UV sphere. And I want to change the poly count, you don't have to, but by default it's 32 segments. 16 rings, F6. Uh, that's a little too much, so I'm going to change it to 24 segments, 12 rings. Okay. Now I want this to be in the center. So let's go to transform location, and my X and Y is already set to 0. I want to change my Z to 0. So you want your X, Y, and Z to 0, 0, 0 to make it completely simple. Make sure you're in object mode. Now I always always do my shading in smooth, so let's that to smooth. So we know I have a smooth representation of the sphere. Let's go to front view or side view and go to edit mode with tab. The wireframe Z. So to make our bullet, first select the entire sphere and then rotate 90 degrees. So I press R, then type in 90 for 90 degrees, and press enter. Now we want to get rid of this half of the circle right here, so you can use the border select or the circle select tool to select those vertices. I'm going to use the circle select. And once I have this this chunk of the circle selected, I want to delete it. So X, delete vertices. I'm in vertex mode. Now I want to select this ring right here, this last ring. Now I'm in wireframe, so I have the entire ring selected. If you're in wireframe, you'll have to move your camera around to select them. But uh, it's, it's just easier to stay in wireframe and select the entire ring like that. So once I have that, I need to extrude this to make the body. So press E for extrude, and I want it to be straight, so press X. And it'll keep it straight for us. Then pull it out a little bit. Okay. Now. I want to add a little bit of detail to the bullet. I'm going to make the tail. So let's stay in front view. And make sure you still have this ring selected. Only this ring. Only this ring. And press E. Right click to keep the vertices there and then scale down a little bit. Then place it. Then we want to extrude again. So E. And pull it out just a little bit with X to keep it straight. Then extrude again. Press X again to keep it straight. Then scale it out until it's about the original size of that ring. So we have that diagonal piece right here. Now we need to finish it off. So press E again to extrude. Press X to keep it straight. Then pull it out a little bit. You kind of see how it's taking form. Now we just need to cap off this end right here. So just press F for face. And if I move my camera around, I can see it creates the face. So press F for face. Okay. So I don't like how the, the head of the bullet is completely uh, round at the end. So I'm going to select this part right here. Now I want to scale in the X. I'll kind of give it that egg-like head that you see on bullets. And then I'm going to place it. And that's a basic bullet inside Blender. See how it looks inside object mode. And that's it. That's a bullet.